The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Huh? Okay. Good. Who'd like to uh, kick us off? Right in the ball, Chris Shaw. Yeah, we've tried to assess the game and the last four matches. Most difficult circumstances for both teams, I would say. Um, playing 48 hours ago, um, having a an opponent, and both teams had an opponent which was motivated on highest level. We're ready for these difficult circumstances with rain, wind. It was cold for the players, probably not. For me, it was cold, to be honest. Um, and and you need a little bit of. You need first of all concentration. You need readiness to work really hard. You need a good organization, discipline, stuff like that. And and of course, and then a little bit of luck. Um, I think. We we, are, we we deserved the three points, but a draw would have been absolutely okay as well. And if we don't score and there's only the one goal, then even Burnley would have deserved it. It was just an open game. We had more with the ball, more we played more. But the main job was to deny all the strength of, of Burnley when they win the ball. They're, they're so tuned in, in these balls in behind, kind of channel balls, Barnes running, Hendricks running, <laughs> really difficult to defend. <laughs> You need to have, we want to have a high last line that helps them a little bit, but that means you need to be even more concentrated. So, as long as the game is open, one goal can be the winner. That looked a while like that <laughs> until um, Burnley um, scored. Yeah, and then we scored pretty much the twin of that goal. So similar at least, um, and um, it's just difficult to defend when, when you lose the first header. What we did, what Burnley did, then it's an open ball in a six-yard box, and then it's really difficult. And it's, you need to be there. Both teams were there, and so um, we were the lucky side. But how is that? I'm really happy about attitude, character, all that stuff. It, you need to win your average games. You need to win with your attitude on your not 100% best days. And uh, character-wise, we were at 100%. Performance-wise, I saw us already better football playing, but um, who cares? You sometimes take even more from a narrow win than maybe a big We didn't have too much. We, we, yeah, of course, we didn't have too much of these wins. I think we, we all who watch us a few times, uh, watch us a few times this year, know that all the in all the draws, we would have deserved to win pretty much more than tonight. So that's how it is. Yeah, you need that to be really to be successful to stay in this region where we are. You need the wins on the not sunny days. So that's how it is. And um, yeah, I feel it's really brilliant. It was a fantastic moment when we scored. <coughs> So, so much has been said about the you know, character of your side and, and, and also the defenders, and there's been a lot of criticism. But they did show incredible spirit there, didn't they? Um, like defensively and in, in uh, getting the goal at the end to win the game. The good, the good thing with the things you you are you write, you are you're, to, at least in this part of the world we live in a free world, so you can write whatever you want. And be it's allowed for us that we give a sh on it. So that means um, I was never in doubt about the character of my boys. I was never, I never thought we have a proper defense problem. That doesn't mean that we not, that we cannot, or didn't need an, an, an extra player um, like Virgil now. Will us help a lot, but um, we are never in doubt. And as the boys showed it a lot of times, they showed a lot of times that we are on a good way. We are not more. Yeah, we, I don't think that we can be better after this match day than, than fourth in the table, but that's for the moment absolutely okay. We need to keep the distance not bigger. If we can make it a little bit smaller, that would be good. But at least um, the same distance with the teams ahead of us. That's all what we can do and that's all what we try. And it's really, I know you all know it a little bit because you have to work as well. 
twice in this, in this period now in, in 48 hours but the physical part of it is really is really hard for the boys it's that's just to to be ready again the whole year you are not used to it that's the problem we always the second day usually in pretty much all football teams is kind of a second recovery day and out of the blue full throttle 100 percent opponent Burnley and stuff like that that makes it be a little bit of artists in a circus, eh? but you all, all can watch and stuff like that. It's not cool and reacting then like this. That's a top class. Any final words, guys? Stas, yeah, yeah, you're with Mo. Mo obviously was injured, I think, like, after the weekend. What about Phil? As well, as well, as well. Yeah. Phil and Mo are injured, not massively, but um, enough for today, no chance, and a doubt, at least a doubt for Everton. Did you have any view on the uh, mic suggesting that Phil was early on the the party? I heard about it. I can't tell you because of different reasons. I couldn't be less interested in anything in the world. <laughs> <laughs> but somebody told me and I thought, wow. Chris? <laughs> Top story. It is. We don't. It's obvious. The Sadio is, is is unbelievably important for us. He's in in so many moments, pff, strong, quick, everything. And then there are the other moments when it's not. It, it doesn't click. It just. And then he scores a goal like this. You think, wow. <laughs> yeah. It, but when he came in, the, he came in the, in the dressing room, and the whole team got up and gave him a hand because they know that they all were in situations. He will be back on top. He made really. Make, he makes steps. That's why why why, 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 why I take him off his. It's it's a situation where you sometimes you, and now you get an injury stuff like that and we need him we need him so much for 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 all the things that are coming and um, so that's it well I'm 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 happy because I I had a lot of players with moments where it was not clicking if you want um, but they never scored and Sadio still scores so that's really cool. Final ones, guys. Chris, yeah. you happy for, you happy for Mo and Sadio to get the awards. In Africa, this week, will that happen? Yeah. And will that affect their availability for Friday night? No. <coughs> Look, it's everything organised. We have to. We have the two best. Okay, two of the three best African players in our squad. Now we can sit at home and can say, okay, they have their, uh, something to celebrate, and we are not interested. That would not be not show the respect we have to show in a situation like this. We cannot. And if it would the match would be the match day, they wouldn't have asked. So it's the night before, that's not cool. We are all, we are in the hotel, we train before, they sleep in a plane. That's the modern world. That's all, that's all the difference. They, they, um, they will be ready or not. If Mo is not ready, it has nothing to do with, uh, with this. We, we can send physiotherapists, everything, we have everything organized, that's no problem. The only thing has to be physically there, and one of them, I don't know what it is, a cup or something else, and then... Um, Few interviews and go home. And it's for, from our side, it's just a, a sign of respect that this, um, what is a tournament, whatever. That we, yeah, I know it. I had Aubameyang, there, obviously the third one. Oh, I, I trained all of them. Cool. Um, and it, there's nothing more important than to go there. That's that's how it is. Yeah. And then I, I try everything, to to help that it's that we can make it possible. Is it idle? No. Will it disturb? No. Final so train on the Thursday, Jurgen, before they go. Sorry. They will train on Thursday before they go. Not with us because we train in the afternoon. They train there in the morning. But uh, yes, they will train. If they can, we're not sure. Final one, Chris. Yeah, just wonder now that Virgil van Dijk is officially in your play when you're coming to contention to play. Will is he in the room for Friday night or? I don't know. We made we made a few tests now, but that's, I think that made sense only for him and for us to see where he stands. That's, that's all. I said it before, no rush. He is on fire. He really wants. Um, that's all good. But we have to make sure that um, um, he can perform. Centre half is a position which is which depends to all the others on the pitch. There are a few challenges you have to sort by yourself. All the rest is always together. That means you need to. Yeah, how can I say? Yeah, you have, to, you have to tune it, that it works really together. So that's it, and we, we need time for that. A pre-season is for that. Usually we don't have a pre-season, so everything will be fine. Um, after Everton game, we have a little bit more time. Um, that will help. And um, yeah, but it's a long-term project, so... 
it's not important when he makes his first game. It's important how many good games he will make play for Liverpool. That's what I'm interested in. Take one final one, Paul. He made his first start today. Outstanding. To be honest, to be honest, outstanding. I thought a few times now it's over. <laughs> um, but he came back and came back and he came back and, and played, especially after 1 0. He, he played now then really good football, preparing the moments for the rest. If he would have been, would have had a little bit more freshness, let me say, on the other positions, he maybe could have used it. But so he was really enjoying the game. Eh? So that was nice. The beginning was really strong. And um, then, of course, a little bit average um, part of the game, but um, then back again is so important for us. Really good news for all of us. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.